Welcome to part two. Now that we've set up Metabase, let's dive into how to use it effectively. In this section, I'll walk you through the key features. Visualize your data with ease. Let's get started. Select your language and then click on Next. You'll need to fill in a few details. Enter your first name, last name, email address, company name, and create a new password for your account. Once all fields are filled in, click Next to proceed. Now, Metabase will ask you what you plan to use it for. You'll see a few options to choose from. Just check the one that best fits your needs and click on Next to move forward. Here, click on the option, I will add my data later, and let's integrate database later. And that's it. The Metabase setup is now complete. On the left sidebar, you'll see an option to add a database. Go ahead and click on it to start integrating your data. In the database type section, you'll need to select the type of database you're integrating with Metabase. Metabase supports a wide variety of databases, so you have plenty of options to choose from. For this demo, I'm going to go with PostgreSQL. Now, enter a name for your database connection. You can choose anything you like. I'll pick something simple for this demo. Next, enter the host. This is where your database is running, so make sure to input the correct address. Next, enter the port. For PostgreSQL, the default is 5,432, but check if you're using a custom port. Next, enter the database name, username, and password. The database name should be the one you want to connect to. For the username and password, use the credentials that have access to your database. Make sure they are correct to establish a successful connection. Once you've entered all the details, click on Save. A pop-up has appeared asking for setup permissions. I'll click on Maybe Later for now. You'll notice that the page now has the admin URL. Let's head back to the main URL to continue. Now, in the left sidebar, navigate to Database. Here, you'll see the database you just added listed and ready to use. You'll also notice a sample database added by Metabase. Now, let me show you how to create a dashboard using your database. To create a new dashboard, click on the New button at the top right of your screen, then select Question. Next, click on Table and then choose the database you want to add a table from. Once you've selected your database, click on one of the tables listed to proceed. On the right side, you'll see a play icon. Click on it to view your table and check the data inside. Below the table, you'll see an option to join. Click on it to join any other table you'd like to combine with your current data. In this case, that account ID and feedback ID are common between the tables. You can change the join criteria based on your specific needs and customize it as desired. Now let's do a preview again to see how your join tables look with the updated data. Next, in the filter section, you can add filters to your table. For example, let's add a filter based on plans. Now, let's do another preview to see how the data looks with the filter applied. In the summarize part, for example, you can add the sum of a column or perform other calculations based on your requirements. For example, let's summarize the seats column by calculating the sum. This will give us a total count based on the data. I'm removing the summarize part since it's not needed for now. Now, click on Visualize. Now, let's add some graphs. Below, you'll see a Visualization button. Click on it. Here, let's go with a bar chart. For the x-axis, I'll select Email ID to represent the individual users, and on the y-axis, I'll choose Rating to visualize how each user has rated. This will give us a clear view of the ratings distribution for each email ID. Now that we've set up the graph, let's save it. Click on Save. Here, if you'd like, you can add a description to your graph for better context. 
Once you're done, click on Save to finalize your changes. A pop-up has appeared asking if you want to add it to your dashboard. Click Yes, please. Now, click on Create a new dashboard. You'll need to enter a name for your dashboard. Once that's done, select the newly added dashboard and click on Select. Congratulations! Your dashboard has been created. Now, click on Save to finalize it. Now, let's head back to the home page. Metabase has also added an example of how beautifully you can create a dashboard for your reports. Let me show you this example. Click on Examples in the left sidebar, then choose one of the listed dashboards to explore. By using Metabase, you can easily create reports like this one. It's a powerful tool to visualize your data and make informed decisions. If you need any help setting up your database or Metabase, feel free to contact us at hello at knife.io. We'll be happy to assist you in setting everything up. Thank you for watching. We hope this guide helped you get started with Metabase. Don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions.